Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. It's been a while. I'm not gonna bore you too much with the details but I do have some health issues and I don't intend to talk about this a lot. I feel like it often just sounds like I'm whining. I've been trying some new medication recently. It always tends to just like destabilize me a little bit but I'm feeling like I've landed in a good place. I've had a few days now that have been really good so uh, I figured it was time to sort out the mess of a wardrobe behind me here for a sort of spring reset of my wardrobe where I take out all of the heavy woolen fabrics and bring in all the beautiful summer dresses. I will say even though we are well into April and this is so overdue, in Norway there is still definitely a chance for more snow so I will keep a couple of winter items still. So let me give you a quick look at what the wardrobe looks like right now. I kind of don't want to because it's in a messy state but Let's just do it. So I have some hanging tops here. This is probably the least messy area. Then I have bottoms here. I have like my steamer and stuff in a box down here. My bags and everything. I started cleaning some of my bags and then didn't really finish it. The worst is definitely these drawers. There are so many things here and I noticed that when I open it, I just struggle too much figuring out what is actually here. So I definitely need to go through that. You can see that knitwear is present in pretty much all of my drawer. It definitely takes over my winter wardrobe. This is my official knit drawer and it is just overflowing. And my coats and dresses, it's a lot more knitwear. I do have some knitwear that I actually wear for cooler days during the summer as well. So I will keep some of it but it definitely can't take over my wardrobe uh, the way it has at the moment and I also don't really like having seasonally inappropriate things in my wardrobe. I find that it just clutters the space but also my mind when I'm putting together an outfit. At least for me I notice that if I look at an item every single day of the year and for half that year I can't actually wear it. I get really sick of it, even just looking at it during the summer months. I'm gonna start by removing things from the different sections and then when I take the summer stuff from the boxes and hang it in the wardrobe, I will pack the winter stuff back into those same boxes. It's always a little bit difficult to gauge like what do I want to wear the next six months but I know that if I really regret something it's not like I've given it away. I can just go back into my storage and find it if there's a piece I'm really missing. Time to do these two sections here and I'll do accessories after. Try not to overwhelm myself. I want to put some of these scarves back into storage and I just store them in Boxes because I don't want these to get torn but then I also take out my fleece lined leggings there is no point in having that in this drawer when I won't wear it again for half a year sometimes I think that I don't need to really pull out all the drawers and have a look because I think I know there is nothing in that drawer I need to store for the winter but that is how I end up having three very summery bags in a drawer taking up space throughout winter that I definitely could have used for knitwear instead like this how can I miss that I have lots of leather <laughs> leggings I'm not gonna wear that for summer and things like this I would definitely miss if I didn't pull out the drawer I don't need these gloves either. All right, now that all of the winter and autumn clothing is out of my wardrobe, I want to get around and get rid of all the dust and whatever, just get it really nice and fresh and clean. You could definitely take out the clothes here. I'm too lazy. I don't want to like put them down on the floor. The rail is full. So I feel like that's gonna get those clothes more dirty and dusty. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna let them hang, work around it and like get rid of all the dust. It's actually kind of wild how dirty these rails look, but want to give it a nice scrub with a microfiber cloth, they really come out nice and clean again. So I definitely think that is worth doing once in a while.
club is quite fun but also very time intensive. It is including all of my spring and summer clothing back into my wardrobe and first of all I love touching all of these lighter fabrics, all of this linen. Yes, it's super wrinkly, I will deal with that later. It's just giving myself a boost of positivity and kind of telling myself that we are now into the season where these kinds of fabrics are appropriate, which is definitely my favorite time of the year. It's also really rewarding to see the clothes that I have kind of a little bit missed wearing and putting them back into my wardrobe. It makes me feel like I have a whole new wardrobe because in a way I do. I do have this drawer where I have lots of dresses, still a wool dress that I will wear for spring a little bit, these knit dresses that are a little bit lighter all the way to these linen summer dresses. This drawer is a little bit of everything but I think it still works. I really like to fold things vertically, I just find that it's much easier to see and have a clear overview of everything I have in the drawer when I'm getting dressed. Obviously you can't see the entire garment but you wouldn't be able to do that if it were stacked on top of each other anyways and it also really helps keep the drawer neat and tidy. Obviously I do at some point have to tidy it up a bit but this is definitely a system that I love. I am never going back to anything else. For the jeans really like folding them. I will put a clip over this because it's way too hard to explain. They're not as wrinkly as when I roll them so I do prefer this method and they still kind of stand on their own and they're nice and vertically stacked. They keep mostly the same shape so it's much easier to organize the drawer as well. I am picking out all of the summer bottoms that I want to hang on this rail. So I do have more like jeans that I will fold and put in a drawer, but I find it much easier to go section by section. So this drawer had a little bit of everything, some knitwear. So I'm just going to put in bottoms that I don't hang on the rail. They are going to go in here. So I am going to just fold some of these and put them in a little box into this drawer as well because I don't have enough hangers or too many clothes depending on how you see it but I will do that so I can actually hang the stuff that I can wear right away. And the next step is to pack away the winter things putting them into these boxes and storing them away for the next six months or so. And this step is making everything look so much better because I don't have clothes lying around everywhere. I like to fold things into these boxes. It just makes it a lot easier to take out. You could definitely vacuum pack this and I could probably get everything into one box if I did that. My system is not perfect. It's a work in progress, but I definitely love just having everything put neatly into these. And then as I went over and cleaned all of the surfaces, I also went around and I just dusted it out. So when I put these boxes back into the wardrobe, they don't go back into more dust. And if I did vacuum pack, I do have a sneaky little feeling they would be far too heavy for me to actually get up into the shelf here. So obviously I'm not done, but I had a few errands to run and the day just got away from me completely so I will finish the rest of this tomorrow. So I'm back for day two of this reset and I'm just gonna finish it up. Today shouldn't take too long I don't think but I often forget just how much time it actually takes to switch out the entire wardrobe like this but I felt so much better walking in here today and seeing that the clothes were all kind of finished. I'm really happy I didn't leave some of the piles of clothes, but just finished that off. And today I am just going to go over the accessories. Today feels kind of like summer, at least Norwegian summer. It's so nice and warm and sunny. So it was really great to have like my little linen trousers ready in my wardrobe today. And this wardrobe refresh was definitely 
not a single day too early, let's put it like that. In resetting the accessories part of my wardrobe, I will be starting with the shoes. Yesterday, I did remove some of the winter shoes out of my wardrobe, and I'm going to take out all of the summer and spring shoes that I have in storage. I quite like these white boxes I have here. They are fabric boxes, and they definitely let the shoes breathe. I could probably do with a couple more, because I do put more than one pair in some of these boxes just to be able to fit all of the shoes in but I really like the idea of not having excess empty boxes lying around so I'm just taking out all of the shoes that I will be wearing for spring and summer I'm getting so excited looking at all of these and I just put them to the side for now and then I get started with cleaning all of my winter shoes. These aren't really super dirty or anything. If they had any dried up mud or things like that, I would obviously just rinse that off. Especially for my leather boots, it's so important to take care of the leather so it doesn't crack and when it's going to stay in storage for a long time, I really like to make sure that my shoes are clean and I let them dry completely and I give them some sort of treatment depending on what kind of leather so they're nice and ready to be used when I take them out for fall and winter later this year. As you can see this is already a fair amount of work so I like to just limit the amount that I have to do for next time. I can finally take my spring and summer shoes back into my wardrobe and sort out the incredible mess that is on the floor right now but as you can see these shelves are fairly dirty so I just have to remove all of the shoes first and clean them get all the dust and grime out and then I can put these shoes in because they have been in storage some of them are a little bit dusty but they are mostly clean so I'm just trying to push all of the shoes into these shelves. I do have too many and as you can see I am cramming in as many as I can. I am definitely realizing I need a little bit more shoe storage and as I go through I just clean off some of these shoes. So like these white sneakers they have been in my wardrobe for a bit so they are a little bit dirty. Some of these shoes especially the white ones I just try to go over and make sure they are in perfect shape so I don't have to start my morning with cleaning my shoes when I put together an outfit. I'm definitely nearing the end here. I am going to do, I want to say the same to my handbags, but I don't really switch them out or around for season as much. I do have a couple of handbags that have been in storage throughout the winter because I wouldn't wear them for that season anyways. Like this basket bags and canvas bags, I really only wear them for summer. So I'm just gonna take all of these out and I will place them back in to my wardrobe. But for the handbags that do stay in my wardrobe, typically all year round, I just think it's a nice time to give them a little bit of a clean. So I'm just gonna clean the handbags that are, if they're dusty or have marks, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a clean and make sure they look nice. And then I also like to spray them with Carbon Pro so they are nice and protected. Thankfully today it's really nice out as well. If it's raining, I probably wouldn't do it today. I've treated the leather on some of these. They are ready to go back into the wardrobe. So putting the handbags back, I still don't have a perfect system for this. So if you have any tips whatsoever, I would love to hear them because I really need it. I have not found a way of organizing my handbags that I really love. I tend to put them into these shelves, but I can't stack them like all the way in because it's just too deep and then the handbags that are in the back I can't see them I just end up not really wearing them I don't really love storing my handbags like this but it might be the best option I prefer them like this I just think it looks nicer and I'm more inspired to wear them I always do this when I do switchovers or declutters or whatever I always play around with how I place my handbags I've never really found something I'm truly like fully happy with but I do end on something. I do land on something uh, as soon as I get too bored with trying to play around with this. For now I've just settled on something like this but I'd love to hear your suggestions and how you organize your bags. 
if you have any tips let me know the final step is to go over some of these smaller drawers i have these pull out trays that includes my accessories that stay year round like my jewelry and my headbands and just small hair accessories things like that and while i'm doing this i'm also just clearing out any clutter that tends to really build up and for me it's really useful to do these resets and just pull things out and properly dust underneath and just get it clean and nice and fresh and another step that might be asking a little bit too much at this point but I do think it is worth doing if you can if you have time and that is to go over the clothes that you have taken out of storage and give them a little bit of esteem. I always feel like when I take clothes out of storage even though they are clean I still feel like they're a little bit stuffy and they are definitely wrinkly. It's really annoying getting up in the morning and having being already not enough time to get ready and then you go to pull out an outfit and it's wrinkly and you have to spend time steaming it. I just put on an audiobook to make the time kind of go. I definitely think this step is optional but your future self will thank you if you do this and I only do this if I have time and I don't prioritize it over any of the other steps in my wardrobe switch over don't let the entire process get stalled because you get stuck steaming and with that I have finally in a very shiny and sweaty state finished my spring wardrobe reset hope you enjoy the video and hopefully you got a little bit of motivation or a couple of tips that you can use for your wardrobe switch out if you have not done so already it's definitely time